All right, so I'm going to uh, make a enclosure for a jumping spider. <clears throat> this is my deal here, and it's a pretty thick piece of plastic. It's used for cooking spaghetti in. You put your spaghetti in here, pour the water in, cap it off, and all that stuff. But uh, it's brand new, and it's perfect. Uh, it is thick, and I want to cut it about in half. So I can have two halves where I can separate and get into have easy access to the uh, enclosure. One way of making a line is to basically get an object that <clears throat> is more or less stationary like this. You get a marking pin and then hold it in one place and just turn, turn the enclosure like this. And you'll have a line, perfect line all the way across. I want to do something a little bit different, at least, or at least attempt to. What I want to do is I want to be able to have a line that's in a, a direct contrast with the uh, anything around it. So when I go to cut it, since it's clear, I want to just be able to focus on this line and not anything else. And I know a trick that plumbers use, and they get they have a special tape that they use and they put it on a round pipe and the tape will lay flat and it'll form a perfect circle right where they want it. And so I'm gonna to try to do that with uh, some masking tape and see how it goes. <clears throat> so I'm, I guess I'm gonna, I need to measure and decide where I want this to. So this thing is Oh, it's not 18 inches, it's more like 12 inches. So if I go um, six inches is good, I guess. Let me get this little pin and mark it because it's small. And then, uh, all right, that's good like that. So, let's see if I can do this. All right, so now I, my idea is to actually uh, have tape on each side. See, I was laying flat like that. I may be doing okay, but this tape is not meant to do this, so I might be off. We'll see how it goes. And it's pretty close. Pretty close. I think I got. Seems like I got off right there. So huh, looks like I did it. Uh, pretty close. Uh, it's not exactly right. It's and and I, and I want it to be exact too. I want it to be. Uh, okay, this is just under six inches. This here is just under six inches. Six inches. Six inches. So, all right. So, I don't like this idea because I want it to be. I want it to have a a nice, perfect cut. And so, I'm going to save this piece of tape because I think what I'm going to do is use the tape to accentuate each side of the uh, of the mark. So, um, let me come back and I'll have something set up where I can just uh, turn it real slick, like, huh? All right. So, I came up with this. Just a couple boxes, and uh, all I'm gonna do is just uh, this is this is the way I always mark stuff like this. Just hold the pin there, and turn the object. And it'll come out on the other side exactly right. So that's that. So I cut that. All right, got that perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to accentuate the, uh, the cut by uh, using some tape. <coughs> Let me find something to set this on. All right, so what I want to do is just, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be, it just needs to be uh, something on either side of it. So when I cut it, it's going to be, uh, I can see the cut, you know? So uh, I'll just leave it like that, I guess. So I'm just going to kind of 
just go like this, like this, probably an eighth inch above, above it. Doesn't have to be perfect now. So, um, all right. So, and I'll do this top and bottom too. So, uh, hope you can see okay. All right, so I did that. I want to put one on the other side. See if I can do this a little smarter this time. All right, so put it here. I'm just gonna roll this like this. Now I'm gonna cut this on my bandsaw. I don't know if my bandsaw can handle it or not. I certainly don't want to break a blade, so I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna use a saw that. Uh, or a blade that is, uh, I have a, plenty of, I have like three, but it's one style blade. So my next step is going to be to cut this. I'm just uh, darkening it up a little bit like this. I guess I could put something on the inside too that would make a good contrast. Because once, you know, you get this dust flying, it's just not easy to see sometimes. And, uh... I just don't want to have a hassle uh, on my disc sander when I go to try to join these. So, so that's that. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, so this is what I rigged up. Uh, a little fence there to guide. I put this here because it's got the foot or the base it's three eighths, sticks out three eighths, so I got about three eighths here. That's good enough. I taped everything so that it doesn't get all scratched up. It'd be a shame to go through all this trouble and end up with something that's all scratched to hell. Uh, I guess I could have done a better job on this, but uh, my idea is to um, rotate it in the blade. Uh, the space between here and here isn't great enough to allow this to actually go in. So, uh, I can cut on that side of it. So, and uh, I would like to have something that's going to keep it from rocking back and forth like this, but I'm not going to be that elaborate. I mean, I could do probably do something, but God, it take me a long time to do, do it out to build some kind of like a spindle system or something, but... So I'm going to freehand it. You know, the, the spider's not going to go in there and go, okay, we need this fixed, we need that fixed. We, he's not going to do all that, man. He doesn't even speak English, I don't think. So uh, be right back. All right, let's see if I'm a hero or a bum. Uh, I switched the blades to a more coarser blade. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully it'll cut. We'll soon find out. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> put this on my disc sander now. I'll clean it up and I'll, I'll be back again. All right, so how did I do? I think I did pretty damn well. Uh, they're almost perfectly in half. They fit together very nicely. Like this, see? There's, there's some air gaps in there, but that is not a big deal. Uh, 
because my one of my next steps is going to be to drill holes in this, like eight sixteenth inch holes, to uh, for ventilation. So let's remove the tape and get a better look. I use that same deal to prop up the bottle uh, when I use the disc sander. So because I want it to be square. And I might make some adjustments. I don't know. But uh, get all this tape off real quick. And yes, I am doing this for a spider. A spider I've never even met before. And he complains. And what we have here would be a problem spider. So, I actually have seen some babies uh, in the house. And I'll tell you something about jumping spiders is that, you know, people think they're just spiders or they're just spiders that jump, but jumping spiders are spider hunters. They'll kill brown recluse, they'll kill black widows, they'll kill stuff that is twice as large as them. And because of that, they're awesome. Because we get something in, the, in this house called uh, yellow sack spiders, and they're the fourth poisonous spider in the state of Colorado. And they are, but they're aggressive. They will come after you. A brown recluse will just hide. A, a yellow sack spider will come at you, and it will bite the shit out of you. And the babies will propel down from the ceiling to get you. And it's pretty weird. So there it is. Check it out, huh? See, so, you know, I think what I'll do is I'll try to find, like, the best union. Like, right there's a good union. And uh, and maybe mark it somehow. I don't know. So, I like that. So, the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to wet sand all this and make it look more presentable and more and and, and, uh, and more smooth. And then I'm going to drill the holes. Then I'm going to find some material similar to this bottle here and cut it and fit it around here and clear epoxy it in place so uh that's it so i will uh i will get back to when i get some of this done huh all right this is my plan stan i cut this strip of plastic from one of these damn things they make us wear it's because of covid and i measured it out um Actually, I didn't. Let me just double check and see if this thing is going to fit for length. Because that's pretty crucial, I would say. And it's also like a dry run. So, and pull these together. Perfect. Look at that. Perfecto. All right. So, <clears throat> my plan is to uh, apply some clear epoxy on this part here. And I got this tape to keep it from looking sloppy. When I'm, then I'm gonna add this piece to it and let it dry. At that point, I will show you the final reveal. Should be enough. Uh, it's already snowing outside again. So, yeah, just a thin layer of this. So, and I'll be pretty much done, uh, except for adding substrate and whatever else, a couple of fake plants or sticks, whatever, whatever. So let's put it on. I just realized something. I'm going to be the first kid on my block with a pet spider.
I've always had something. It's just to me when I was even, you know, 15 years younger. I had this whole house full of fish tanks and all sorts of fish. Beautiful fish, too. And uh love the African cichlids. And uh, then I got uh, into uh, water turtles. And those are cool. Except you got to clean the water. And it's just, they're kind of nasty, really. So, then I got into tortoises. Then, of course, the falcons. But I've always had for dogs. All right, so here we go. All right, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to just line it up like this. I only got five minutes, so I should be doing okay. Oh, shoot. My idea is to have it stick up higher on the top. Seems like I'm having an issue here with the glue. Okay, that's good. Oh man, it doesn't want to stick right there and have a... I did make a mistake drilling those holes sucks. Okay, it's trying to slip around, so I'm going to do length of tape like this. I guess I probably could have... ...put the ring together first, but then it would have pushed out all my epoxy. All right. I got some more fingers. I got to be careful. Well, I'm liking it. I guess it's cool. I think I'm going to put a piece of tape across like this just to hold my seams in. All right, so let that dry for a little bit. I'll be back, man. All right, so it's been about half an hour. <clears throat> See how we did. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Yeah, you got to kind of uh, be thrifty with things because everything is getting more and more expensive here in the States. And it's ridiculous because you get companies that have made millions and millions of dollars off people's, uh, off people's uh, projects or whatever. And, uh, and then they check the prices up even more uh, and I just think it's rude because I know like Home Depot out here the big con uh, uh, a big hardware store that's nationwide give 20 million dollars to some cause 
And I'm not saying I disagree with the cause or whatever. If it was Black Lives Matter, I wouldn't shop with them. They can go fuck themselves. But they give all this money to these um, charities or whatever. And, you know, and they sell their, some of their stuff that they sell is just cheap garbage. And they want premium price for it. And it's, you can't get away from it because it's hard to find anything that's really good anymore because China is just making everything. So I think it's doing okay so far. I don't know if this material is kind of, kind of uh, cheap or chintzy or thin or whatever, but I don't like the way the I don't like the way the adhesive is looking on it so far. So oh, I got a little bit of glue right there. Shoot. I think if I were to do this again, I would have wrapped the whole thing in plastic or something and not worry about it. And now I have that piece of shit stick sticking up right here. It doesn't come off with with uh, anything like a solvent or whatever. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it. No, the stick I made with the holes is the drill bit uh and anytime you cut acrylic like this it's going to melt and when it melts that's when you can have problems i didn't notice my drill bit was melting uh, but it was and what it did was it caused some chips uh to form at the entry of the hole. So nah, it's kind of it's kind of ugly. That's the ugliest part about it, this part here. But let's see if it works. Oh shit. Okay, so that works. See that? So that works. So yep. So I don't think a spider is going to shake it that damn hard, but uh, <laughs> it's snug, and um, I sure like to. I sure like to do this over again, though. I don't know how I do it, because um, I thought this stuff would dry clear. It's more like a milky clear, what it is. So um, here, let me show you what I did. See how it chipped out? See those little chips? Um, and they're actually on the inside, I guess. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it was a good little project. I think that um, if I were to do this again, I would change a few things. Uh, so, but one thing I might might change would be to add uh, would be to just try to drill large holes and maybe uh, silicone in some venting but um, it's got venting at the top so there it is I don't like the way I don't like the way this part came out um, but it's not going anywhere, and you know what? It's just good enough. Uh, so cool, I did it.